Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selam ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allemni bima enfa'ni ve zidni ilmen innekel alimul hakim. My topic today is about science and bronchiectasis, radiological science and bronchiectasis. Before we start with the radiological science, let us see what is a bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis, it is abnormal dilatation of bronchial tree and can be seen in the blame film, chest x-ray, and also seen in the CT scan, and it is the most accurate model, modality for diagnosis of the bone characteristics. And it can be reversible and can be irreversible. And we have many causes of bone characteristics according to the age and according to the infect, uh, to the causes and we can two groups of the uh, of causes of bronchiectasis can be post infectious and can be cystic fibrosis. Post infectious like a granulomatous disease like TB allergic pulmonary aspergillosis and microbacterium evium and histoplasmosis. Congenital, like congenital cystic bronchiectasis and cystic fibrosis, Dr. Genov syndrome, William Campbell syndrome, pulmonary sequestration, alpha-1 antitrypsin uh, deficiency, and other causes like bronchial obstruction, bronchial carcinoma, and we have some sort of traction bronchiectasis seen in the uh, rheumatoid arthritis and interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. And we have cylindrical bronchiectasis, bronchi have a uniform caliber and don't taper. And we have the tram track sign and signet ring sign as we will see. Very close bronchiectasis, relatively uncommon and appears as beaded appearance with dilated bronchi. And cystic bronchiectasis, and we have cyst-like bronchi and sometimes with a fluid level. Cylindrical bronchiectasis will account about 47%, very close about 10%, and cystic bronchiectasis about 45%. Multiple types of uh, accounts about 24, uh, 24%. Let us see the radiological signs of the bronchiectasis. We have the first sign, singlet ring sign, and appears as ring shadow representing the dilated, dilated thick wall bronchus associated with nodular obesity represent, representing pulmonary artery and seen in CT scan, high resolution CT scan, and CT finding in patient with bronchiectasis. As we see here in this uh, multiple patients, we have the dilated bronchus and we have the pulmonary artery here and here dilated bronchus and the pulmonary artery here and this is the uh, dilated uh, bronchiectasis and this was seen in the cylindrical type of bronchiectasis.
It was a tracking sign, and it is also seen in Brazil line of cities. It was tracks caused by thick and dilated bronchi and seen in cylindrical bronchiectasis, as we see in this example. We have to um, dilated uh, bronchiectasis, it's a cylindrical type, dilated bronchiectasis with thick wall, and here we have attraction bronchiectasis, and we have the signaturing bronchiectasis. A string of beads sign, and this will seen in the varicose uh, bronchiectasis as we seen in the beaded uh, type appearance and it is account about 10 percent of patients and it is uh, beaded in appearance a cluster of grape sign a grape sign and it is seen in cystic bronchiectasis. Uh, cystic bronchiectasis will account about uh, 45 percent, as we can see it in the blame film. As in this patient, we have multiple cysts involving both uh, both lower lobes, and some of these cysts are, have air fluid levels and appear as cystic uh, grapes sign, as in, in this example also can be seen in the uh, CT scan uh, very nicely and as graves with cystic appearance or with if there is an acute infection we have uh, we have air fluid level thank you for listening hoping to see you in another 